Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals will get together in a game with huge implications in the division on Sunday Night Football, October 23rd in Week 7 of NFL action. Arizona is a small home favorite here, but signs point to this number going down in the middle of the week. The Seattle Seahawks are just 2-3 and three against the spread, and they have also had a really easy schedule to start the season. We have become so used to lofty expectations from Seattle that a 4-1 straight up and 2-3 and three against the spread record look like an underachievement. The Arizona Cardinals have had their share of adversity so far, but they are above water with a 3-3 three and three straight up mark. They're also 3-3 three and three against the spread. As of now, the Cardinals will be favored for the seventh time this season. Once again, the Seattle Seahawks are dealing with some offensive line problems. Russell Wilson was bothered by a bum ankle until the bye week, and the running game has not been able to get on track. Wilson has completed 66% of his passes with a 5-1 to touchdown interception ratio, but he's been sacked 10 times on the season, and it led to some dicey moments leading up to the game against the New York Jets. Christine Michael had run for 4.4 yards per carry, but nobody else has followed his lead. Outside of Michael, the Seahawks have 90 yards on 59 carries. The Seahawks have utilized Jimmy Graham better this season as he has 16.1 yards per catch on 22 receptions. Doug Baldwin leads the team with 361 receiving yards. The Seahawks offense has struggled this season, but they have limited the turnovers and that can hide deficiencies. Defensively, this is the same stout group that we have come to expect. The Seahawks have allowed just 3.3 yards per carry on 114 attempts this season. They have held opponents to a 58.7% completion rate, and they have six takeaways against seven touchdowns allowed. Seattle's 16 sacks are tied for six in the NFL, and their opponent's completion percentage is the sixth best mark in the league as well. Only Green Bay has stopped the run better than Seattle. It's important to point out that Seattle has only faced one good offense this season, and last week Atlanta had a good day throwing the football. The Dolphins, Rams, Jets, or 49ers are not a good test for any defense. The Arizona offense has been really sluggish this season. After being among the NFL leaders in yards and points last season, the Cardinals are now barely in the top 10. Carson Palmer is showing signs of his age, and he missed a start on a short week with a concussion. He was cramping up at the end of the game against the Jets, so that will be something to watch moving forward. Most of the offense for the Cardinals has come from David Johnson. He's rushed for five yards per carry on 113 tries, and he has 20 catches for 265 yards. He's accounted for 13 plays of 20 yards or more. Carson Palmer has been sacked 12 times in his five starts, as the Cardinals' offensive line has really struggled in pass protection. On the other side of the ball, the Cardinals still boast one of the league's best secondaries. The front seven has some issues at times, especially against the run, but Arizona's strength on defense has allowed them to be more aggressive with the blitz. The Cardinals have 19 sacks and have still held opponents to a 58.2% completion rate. Arizona has nine interceptions and five fumble recoveries for 14 total takeaways this season and that's the best mark in the NFL. The acquisition of Chandler Jones has been a big one as he has had four sacks and two fumble recoveries. The Seattle Seahawks are rounding into form with the bye week and with a healthier Russell Wilson. Both teams have had pass protection issues and Arizona has the better running back while Seattle has the better quarterback and that should make the difference in a low scoring game where the field position and possessions are going to be at a premium. Wilson is a good bet to take care of the football, and Palmer is not, so that should be the key to this game. Our pick and prediction is for the Seattle Seahawks at plus two. Click over now and check out all the NFL and NCAA football odds on the board, and make a few wagers with BetDSI.com.